So quarterfinal it is on Amazonia first in the upper right we have Foggy, uh, one of the best night elf players in Europe, top five in Europe in general, and in the lower left we have Maker, aka Sheik, as an undead, uh, yeah, the underdog in this one, but yeah, nice that he made it to the quarterfinals. Mm, of course, this cup. Uh, not that big as a Jera Cup, for example. Don't really know why. Maybe the Saturday is just bad for some players. Mm. But of course, it's a big opportunity to to play for fame and fortune in the in the uh, Brain Cup, and for eight hundred dollars, of course. So since it's the quarterfinal, it is best of three. Um, Foggy's statistics versus Undead are not that good. I don't have anything of maker here and I don't really know his playstyle but I expect Foggy to win pretty easily. I'm a little Foggy fanboy and uh, we all remember his big SK hot thingy. Oops. That move made me a fan and on YouTube there's a there's a Warcraft movie made by Foggy with uh, I Need a Hero as the background music and I love that song. And it's so fitting for Warcraft, but yeah. And I think Foggy's pretty cool, man. Playing some uh, fancy stuff like Mountain Giants and Night of Mirror. That's what makes me a Foggy fan. In case you didn't know, he has a Facebook page. It's called WC3 by Foggy. Definitely worth a like. He always posts when he's playing and streaming and uploading YouTube videos because he always uh, he has a YouTube account. I think a lot of Russians starting YouTube accounts now. Hawk has one, Sonic has one, uh, Morozov and Wolverine started their YouTube accounts. But they only post the, uh, the entire cast and they don't highlight the single games like we do. That makes us a little better! So, yeah. DK out, Demon Hunter out, of course, uh, level 2 already, thanks to the double creep here, as the Night Elves always do. DK trying to harass a little, but no coil. But Aura. And the ghouls are coming. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Is there a double crypt or something? No, nothing fancy, just an early tech. I think you can play uh, Gargoyles on Amazon, yeah? But. Most likely we're gonna see the Fiend game. And the DK can't do shit. Without a coil, he's not very good at harassing. He has some skeletons, but no corpses so far. And I think it's the ghouls who have to do some trouble here. Maybe getting one moon will or something. That would be the biggest thing he can accomplish right now. Or getting the arches for experience, that would also be nice. There is knight, but there's dust as well, so this archer is probably gonna go down. Or, yeah, he gets to the moon wells. Yeah, not very effective this uh, so far, this rush, but he gets the first round archer down. Let's see if he can get a ghoul in return. No, he gets surrounded in return! So he needs to get the town portal off of him, and yeah, the ghoul gets out. He tries to fight his way out, but yeah, still closed. Four units around here, and new skeletons. Very nice. No, what's he doing? Nice wisp. He opens this around, and no portal needed. A player's forces are under attack. Big mistake, and now it's time to clean up. Getting some ghouls here. In exchange, yeah, he got two, two archers. Or a wisp or something. I think an archer and a wisp is more, more likely. Graveyard and second crypt. So he is playing gargoyles. Very fast tech here, compared to foggies. And of course, with the double crypt, you always have more gargoyles than your opponent has um, dryads, because you're just able to produce them faster. Since you have, uh, you have the first crypt already, and you don't, and you have the time to build the second one. He's a little late, 
that. With the second crypt. But of course Foggy needs to build his two engines of uh, lore. So that will take some time. Watch Chief Creep here, getting level 3 most likely, very easy, versus Trappers and the Berserker. Not even level 2 for Maker. So he still has no coil, and oh, the Steel Hunter man, 8 HP le uh, 8 XP left. Got it now with the Murloc, nice uh, creeping here. Without the Demon Hunter. Get the Taskmaster, oh, yeah, he got the last hit, so important. And the replenishment potion, a good item as well. Coil, and he needs to block here. Ah, with that frost arrow, he might get the ghoul, but no. He changes his focus. Death Knight completely burned out. And here comes Gargoyles. Here comes Gargoyles. Not the so typical Gargoyle map like, for example, Twisted Meadows. But still. You can do good here with Gargs. So, Maker is gathering his troops again, these uh, few ghouls he has. See, okay, he's not collecting his gargoyles, just sends them there. Is there an ancient protector so far? Nope! But a tier 3 tech, so Foggy is most likely gonna ignore the gargs and just go bears. What Foggy did so well is he spread his wisps. Here is one, here is one, here is one, here is one. So he has the vision everywhere and it's not so easy for the gargs to find them and kill them. Which is of course what you want with this gargoyle strategy. is killing the wisps and uh, keep the knight of low on lumber. But since he's still, uh, he is already attacking to tier 3 and got some upgrades. Um, Maker's a little late here with his Gargs. Sentry wards, more vision, nice. A town is under siege. So yeah, I think Maker should uh, start concerning about bears. A player's forces are under attack. He's not doing anything. No adept upgrade. Not a first bear for Metamorph uh, for Metamorphosis for rejuvenation. Nothing. And the kill calendar on these Gargs, not that high. Shredder, yep, yeah, nice. Foggy, of course, knows exactly what he has to do against this. It's not so easy to kill that Shredder. And, uh, yeah, tier 3 is finished. Is there a lich or something the coming? Nope. Siege. Single hero undead so far, not even level 3. And only ghouls versus dryads and run away from them, let them change, uh, chase you around. Not the smartest idea. But what can you do? You can't run away. Only one more coil left. Six gogs now, but there's no target. No target for the Garks. And he is preparing now for the bears, getting a boneyard. But Foggy is not thinking about bears. He's going full dryads. A player's forces are okay. Forces are under attack. 
So there's a... He needs the Lich, man. He needs uh, the Orb of Corruption. Without the Orb, he doesn't stand a chance against this Dryad, so I guess. The good thing for, for Maker is, there's no Panda. So he doesn't need stone form that bad. Players' forces are under attack. But even the demon hunter got his orb, man. I don't know. Yeah, very, very passive play now by both players. Okay, he gets stone form. I think he has frenzy already. Yep. No. Worm so far, he wants to stay under 50 food to evade the taxes. Point of illusion, not that good, but level 3 Naga finally, so Fork Lightning's gonna hit a little harder. Strength of the Wild upgrade. Ultra Vision, very late. Yeah, and Makery can't really creep. He has only four or five units. No second hero to tank with. So this takes a while. Why would you go DK single DK? Lich is so great all the time, man. Don't really get it. So if here's the Zerk, ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know. Amazonia has a Zerg. You can charm him and use Possess on him and then control him. Little better than a ghoul. So, yeah. If you want to troll around at W3 Arena, play Undead or Dark Ranger and get the Zerg. So, Lich finally is coming. Foggy is expanding, Lulz. He's got Nature's Blessing, so it's not that slow. And he will just walk over there. It's already protected by the Engine of War. Yeah, if, if Maker grants him so much time, it's just uh, the, natural, the natural move to do. Level 4 on this DK, and I feel like the experience from level 3 to 4 is completely wasted on this DK. But he's going into upkeep now. 63 food for him, 47 only for Foggy because he invested a lot in his expansion. But I don't know if Foggy, uh, if, if Maker knows about this. But yeah, we have an orb, we have cloth plus six, so big damage boost. One zero upgrades for the Gargs, one one upgrade for the Dryads. A player's force level four demon attack. hunter about to hit level, f uh, level three demon hunter about to hit level four. And uh, here we have an engine protector, interesting. But bad situation for Maker now, Foggy was just waiting for Maker to do a move to catch him. But yeah, demon hunter in problems, is there healing? No, by the town portal. And with the Orb of uh, Corruption, he can easily rip those Dryads apart. Easily. Oh, Lich in problems! Lich in problems! Mana burn! Is it enough? Yeah! Fork Lightning kills off the Lich. And there... Oh, he dodged the coil! With the Invo Potion. Foggy keeping a second hero alive. Getting the Lich, but he lost so many Dryads. And it was only a level 1 Lich. He can easily get it back at the Tavern. Well, he is a little short on gold. But yeah, okay, Lich is already already coming back. That's not taking much time. Expansion is up. That's of course why Foggy made this move. He wanted to buy some time. Super important to keep this level 3 Naga alive. He needs the Fork Lightning. Yeah, both heroes now with anti-magic potions. And a Heal Scroll. I think that's something that uh, Maker also needs. Oh, he has a big potion of healing and a Heal Scroll. Nice. Of course, it's a little easier for him to get heal scrolls since they are available in the undead shop. 
Yeah, yeah, 57 food versus 47, but the expansion is running, the clock for Maker is ticking. Because it will be impossible for him to uh, to get a, an expansion up himself. But yeah, next fight coming, focus immediately on the Demon Hunter. Level up, so level 2 evasion, that one bear was an easy picking, or oh, 2 dryads down already. Ah, it's looking good for Maker to be honest. Very, very good. The Naga has to do some miracles here, and the Demon Hunter, these two combined. They still have their anti-magic potions, Demon Hunter needs to... S oh, he used it already, now he did. So he switches the focus to the Naga, but it's not enough, that Frostworm man, uh, Frost, Frostworm man, just half a hero. So strong, with that 1-0 attack upgrade. The Gargoyle's a little out of position, but Maker's doing great, Maker's doing great so far. Demon Hunter slope, the moon wells are kinda all dry, except this one or two in the back. Both lightning hit once again, and uh, yeah. His weapon of choice is hero focus now. The Lich, sadly, only level two and a half. He's going for the DK. Once again, anti magic potion, a heal potion being used. He wants that first hero, and he loses a lot in the meantime, but he gets the shredder now. That air bomb so important to block far up front. Uh, yeah, hero snapped out. Only three gargs in the air. Oh, he needs to keep this frost worm alive, and he saves it over the trees. Where is the next coil? Oh, five mana left, missing. Okay, now he has a coil. Saves it immediately. Level five DK. Level five DK, and once he get this level two. Nova, this is gonna be hard for Foggy. One more potion. I think the moon was all dry. Of course, he has rejuvenation, but for how long? Level four on the Naga, mass clarities and moonstone being used. But the Shredder now bought by by Maker, and he's going for the Demon Hunter again. No healing anymore, but no coil, Nova, nothing, no mana. Nice staff, the Shredder down, but he did what he was supposed to do. Do some damage and block. Let's try it again. Rejuvenation. Yeah, Demon Hunter can do some nice, done, uh, nice job here. Fog Lightning as well, but he needs to be careful. Next potion for uh, Maker should get rid of this shop. This one's killing him right now. DK gets a little hit, but no problem for him. Two air bombs on the battlefield now. Level 3 Lich, and there is a Nova. There is a Nova, but no coil at the moment. Oh, Dark Ritual or a. P oh, no, that was a big healing potion. Nova coming. I don't really know why I used that anti magic potion. The Dryads keep him in the game. A little. And the heroes, of course. Level 4.5 Demon Hunter. But nowhere near Metamorphosis, of course. Maker is doing it better, but Foggy only needs to wait and sit this out. He has the expansion running. Maker's gold mine, yeah, about to collapse. Only th uh, 1,370 gold left. And Foggy is turning this game around. Foggy is turning this game around now. Slowly but steady, he came back into this fight. Even mana burning the statue. Getting the air bomb, oh boy. Running away was not the smartest choice. Not against Dryads, he lost a lot on the way home. Fog Lightning now almost as good as Breath of Fire. And you see it, expansion. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. More bears, more Dryads coming. Four and a half. What is Maker doing now? He is short on gold. He has a 5 and 3 hero. That's definitely better than two f level 4 heroes. The coil is so strong. But of course DK always low on mana. So not many coils hitting that target. And yeah, not kicking that shop was a mistake Maker made. That saved the Demon Hunter like three times. Oh. 
And we got a new donation. Thank you, Eraserhead. But let's focus on this game. Oh, Savas fans. Sorry, mix it up. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. So, yeah. I think with with two level five Night Elf heroes, this game is kind of over. Because the DK will okay will never have mana. I'm just saying it. He gets the potion. He should s start selling buildings already, and he does so. Crypt is gone. I think. Uh, what else can he sell? A player's force. A boneyard probably. Seven sixty one food and Foggy is doing. Uh, a nice little creep. Get some gold, of course. Boots of Kelthalas. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome for the Demon Hunter. Plus 11 damage now. Of course, he has the orb as well. So is he gonna take the red spot or not? I think it would be far too dangerous. Yep, and he decides likewise. Yeah, Boneyard is gone. Maybe time for some invo potions, heal scrolls, something. Yeah, it's gonna be heal scrolls. But of course, Foggy is preparing. Of course, he's getting his engines ready. He's getting his bears ready. He's up on 69 food. Just a little short on lumber. But... He's even trying to expand again with his Tree of Eternity. He's... yeah. Don't really know why he's getting away so far from his expo. I think it's pretty clear that Maker is about to attack there. Maybe he just wants to ditch the fight to Worms. But it would be stupid to just let this expo die. Yeah, Maker is seeking for the Tree of Eternity most likely, but... This guy is gone for a long time. Let's wait and see how this uh, turns out. Two mana potions on the DK. Wow. Only one heal scroll. Now he's focusing on the shop immediately. Down he goes. And Foggy tries to defend his main base. Immediate focus on the Demon Hunter. Gets healed by rejuvenation. Fog Lightning hits the, dry, uh, the, the Gargs pretty, pretty hard. I think they will all fall on the ground sooner or later and Maker stubbornly killing or uh, trying to kill that demon hunter again two frost worms full HP up in the air but the, the the gargs are all dead the gargs are all dead no piercing damage anymore what can he do against these huge amounts of dryads bears taking care of this obsidian statue no more regeneration next fog lightning hits nova hits as well both first heroes pretty pretty low invo potion on the demon hunter and i think that's about it now the dk is so low nothing to heal anymore down he goes dryads kill him foggy wins game number one in this quarterfinal after 23 minutes